Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something pretty absurd. Um, so I don't know if you've heard, but there are these things called BuzzFeed quizzes. And they're pretty ridiculous, so we're just gonna do some today and just see what happens. I, I've searched funny on BuzzFeed, and we're just gonna like go through the list and like do all of them that like somewhat relate to me, because some of them are like about shows that like I've never seen. So don't like don't kill me in the comments if I haven't seen your favorite show. I just I don't really watch TV that much. I mainly watch YouTube. So don't hate me in the comments, okay? Let's see. It's kind of funny, but your cereal preferences will reveal your mental age. Okay, period. <laughs> the description is your inner child is hungry. <laughs> okay. Choose a vessel for your feast. Well, that depends. What am I eating? I mean, I guess soup. So I guess I'll just go for a simple bowl. Choose my spoon. Just a simple spoon. Oh, I'm eating cereal. This is. A I totally forgot. How did I forget already? <laughs> Pick a cereal. Where's Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> uh, I guess of these, I'd probably go for Cheerios. How about some mix-ins? Where's none of the above? I don't, like, put anything else in my- I just have to, like, the cereal by itself. I'm not very bougie when it comes to cereal. I guess marshmallows? What kind of milk is going in your bowl? I don't care. Like, whole milk? I don't know. Like, this is so dumb. <laughs> what are you drinking? I guess latte, I guess. I usually have iced coffee in the morning, but, you know, whatever, period. Pick an activity to do while you eat. Play the game on the back of the cereal box. <laughs> Read the newspaper, check your email, or gossip. Probably play the game on the back of the cereal box. And finally, when are you eating your cereal? Uh, well, I, it's not like the first thing I do when I wake up, like when I have breakfast. So, I guess, I, I'd say like 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. because I get up around 7. So, I'll go for 9 a.m. <laughs> My mental age is 42. You're fully grown, hon. Responsibility looks good on you. Ask the expensive shoes and cardigans. Oh my god. But really, I respect your choices in cereal and in life. Well, thank you very much. This is kind of funny, but we know if you're more like a cat or a dog based on your candy preferences. Okay, sign me up. Prepare to make some very tough decisions, apparently. Okay, here we go. There's 36 comments? Oh my god. M&M's or Skittles? M&M's, definitely. Skittles are like so much, you know? Snickers or Three Musketeers? Neither, I'd rather have a Milky Way, honestly. <laughs> I mean, if I had to choose, I guess I'd go for Snickers. I don't really... Milky Way Classic. Reese's Cups? or Kit Kat. Ooh, both good choices, but I think if I had to choose just one, it would be Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Uh, Sour Patch Kids or Swedish Fish? Um, well, I don't really know anyone on Earth who likes Swedish Fish, except for maybe my mom, but I feel like nobody really likes Swedish Fish. They're kind of gross. So, Sour Patch Kids for sure. Airheads or Twizzlers? Uh, definitely Airheads. Uh, Hershey Bar or Twix? Oh, that's easy. Twix, 100%. Crunch Bar or Butterfinger? Crunch. Always came with the Pizza Lunchables back in the day. So definitely Crunch Bar. Uh, Smarties or Starburst? I think probably Starburst, to be honest. There's so many questions. Why are there so many questions? Heyday or Heath Bar? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mom says to pick the very best one, and you are it. Yes, Heath Bar. Gummy bears or sour worms? Hmm. Oh, this is actually tough. I think sour worms. And finally, almond joy or mounds? Neither. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mom says to pick the very best one, and you are it. If I was done yet. Almond joy. I'm a dog, apparently. Even though dogs can't have chocolate. You're my dog. You love meeting new people and going on adventures. You're playful, loving, and bold. Like, where did they get that from my... Candy preferences. Like, where, where, like, I don't see, like, the correlation there. That just doesn't seem to make any sense to me. I guess I wonder how you would get cat on this quiz. But anyway, period. It's kind of funny, but the first date you plan will reveal who has a crush on you. I mean, okay. I don't think anyone's crushing on me currently, but I guess we'll say. 
First things first, what are you wearing on this date? Something cute, something formal, something comfy, something trendy. Probably something comfy, you know? Unless, I mean, I feel like that depends. Like, if you're going to like a fancy restaurant for dinner, then definitely something formal. But if you're like going on a picnic, or maybe even like going to a movie or something, I think something comfy or something cute. Why am I thinking so hard on this question? <laughs> it literally doesn't matter, but like it does depend on what date you're doing. You know? So, I mean, I guess in general something comfy, but like, if you're like doing something fancy also, you know, something formal but also comfy. Uh, when does the date begin? Uh, well, my bedtime is 9.30, so, uh, I guess 5, so we could have plenty of time. Where are we going first? The beach, a museum, a concert, an amusement park. Well, I personally love amusement parks, so... That's what I would choose. Where are we going now? Mini golf, a pottery class, a psychic, a club. Definitely not a club. That's too loud and like, you wouldn't be able to like, chat with your date at all, I feel like. Mini golf could be fun. Let's grab a bite to eat. Pizza, sushi, steak, or ice cream. Ooh, it's a toss up between pizza and steak. But then again, like, it would be up to like, what she wants. I'd be like, where do you want to eat? And depending on what she said, I would choose one of these. But I feel like it's hard to screw up a steak. Cause like, I feel like some places don't make like as good pizza as others. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like some restaurants, I won't name any, obviously, but I feel like some restaurants make pizza better than others, whereas I feel like it's hard to screw up a good steak. But I guess if we're wearing something, why am I thinking so hard about this? <laughs> this is a, literally a BuzzFeed quiz. Why am I thinking so hard about this? This is ridiculous. Uh, I guess steak. I love a good steak. Give me a filet mignon, like. <laughs> The night's not over yet, choose another place to go. I guess an arcade or maybe the theater, but probably an arcade. Okay, time for the last activity of the- This is a long day. Like- This is a long day. Okay, time for the last activity of the night. Bowling, star- I feel like we've done a lot of activities, so I think just taking a walk and chatting. Finally, how's the night gonna end? I feel like either planning the next date or with a hug. Cause I feel like you can't kiss on the first date. I mean, I guess it depends on how good it goes, but I feel like you can't kiss on the first date. But I think I'll say planning the next date. So someone I barely met is crushing on me, apparently. Isn't there a person in everyone's life who maybe you see once or twice a week but don't really know? No, because I don't go places. Maybe you see them at a grocery store or Starbucks and you exchange a little smile and some small talk. The next time you see them, you should try to get to know them a bit better. You never know when sparks will fly. Thanks for the dating advice, BuzzFeed. Uh, which funny cartoon character are you? Okay, well I see Peppa Pig, so I'm clicking. Here we go. Choose the personality trait that fits you best. Confident, funny, clever, or bossy? Uh, I guess funny? Choose a hobby. Making jokes, eating Scooby snacks, being a goofy sidekick, jumping in muddy puddles. Probably somewhere in between making jokes and being a goofy sidekick. I think making jokes. Choose a talent. Riding a unicycle while juggling. Strong sense of smell. No on that. Super speed. Doesn't exist. Dance. I like how you have like really out there options. Like riding a unicycle while juggling. Strong sense of smell. Super speed. And then you have three like normal hobbies. Like dancing, singing, and sports. Like, I guess singing. How do you handle conflict? Ignoring it? Getting sad, finding a way to fix it, screaming, throwing a tantrum, IDK. Um, how do I handle conflict? I guess find a way to fix it? I'll say I don't know. <laughs> I'm Larry the Cucumber. Okay, period. You're always telling jokes, but that can sometimes be annoying to others, even with your silliness and you're still a lovable companion. I think that's definitely like the most accurate quiz so far in terms of like personality quizzes. I am Larry the Cucumber. You can't tell me different. What's your hate language? That could be interesting. Ooh, this is, okay. Let's try and be as accurate as possible. What gets under your skin the most? When someone shoves past you in the street, not really. When your son-in-law uses up your shaving cream and doesn't tell you, not applicable. I don't have a son-in-law. When your boss says the phone call will only take 15 minutes and it ends up taking two hours, again, not applicable because I don't have a boss. I am my own boss. 
When your darling five-year-old thinks it's really funny to tie your shoes together before you leave at eight in the morning. Again, not applicable, because I don't have a darling five-year-old. When you hear a rumor about yourself that you absolutely did not start for attention, what? These are absurd. Um, I mean, I guess the first one is the only one that can possibly apply to me, I feel like. Okay. Second question. In school, you were the kid who routinely bummed gum, lip gloss, hair ties, and snacks off of other kids. No. Took roughly 20 extensions per semester and still managed to procrastinate until the last minute. I feel like that's pretty accurate. Had the hot gossip on everyone and was not afraid to blackmail others to get what you want. Who am I? Georgina Sparks? Like, oh my lord. Was known as the prankster. Practical jokes you played on teachers and classmates alike live on in legend. Was always in and out of the office for getting into fights. Uh, no. Took roughly 20 extensions per semester and still managed to procrastinate till the last minute. I feel like that's pretty accurate. Pick a song. Better Than That by Marina. Hate by Cruel Youth. Before He Cheats by Carrie Underwood. That's the first one I know. Hit Em Up Style by Blue Cantrell. A Hotel California by The Eagles. I mean, none of the above, really. I mean, I only know two of them, and like, of the two options, I don't like listen to either of these songs, really. So like, I guess I'll just do Eeny Meeny Miney Mo. Eeny Meeny Miney Mo, catch a tiger by his throat, if he hollers, let him go. My mom says to pick the very best one, and you are not it, if I was done yet. Before he cheats, I guess. Which classic mean girl do you relate to the most? <sighs> what? Nancy Downs from The Craft, Jennifer Check from Jennifer's Body, Katie Heron from Mean Girls, okay. None of the above. I'm not really a mean girl, hey. Yikes, you just found out that you're being cheated on. What do you do? Take it upon yourself to ensure that everyone knows what a scumbag they are and what they're really like behind closed doors. No, that's way too spiteful. This will end in more property damage than their new boo thing can afford. Is this- I feel like this is intended for girls to take this quiz. So I feel very out of place answering these questions. Spam them with calls and texts. Show up at their door unexpectedly. Oh my god. Stalker. Never let them escape you and your wrath. Oh my god. Why are you so spiteful? Introduce them to these hands. Extort their, their guilt for your own material gain. You might as well get what you can out of the deal. These are so spiteful. Like, oh my god. Am I literally Regina George? Like, what's happening? None of them? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> This is so weird. That's also way spiteful. None of them. We'll come back to that question. Finally, on a nicer note, what's your love language? Quality time, acts of service, physical touch, words of affirmation, giving, receiving, gifts. I think either quality time or giving, receiving, gifts. Um, quality time. Oh, this question. I'm just gonna do any, meeny, miny, mo. I, I wanna be accurate, but none of these really apply, so. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mom says to pick the very best one, and you are it. If I was done yet. Quantity time. Your hate language is quantity time. You're a firm believer that if you aren't having a good time, no one should be. And we can really get behind that. If someone is making a task tedious for you, you fight back by making the time you spend trapped with them as odious for them as possible. I don't think that's beautiful. Absolutely ridiculous. That's gonna be it for this video where we just did BuzzFeed quizzes. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, I will have my social medias linked in the description, uh, so you can check me out there. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.